Hi, it's Mark again, and this is my third entry in my series of video blogs regarding my hair transplant, which I received yesterday morning uh, at Dr. Paul Cotterill's office in Toronto, Canada. And I'm just going to give you an update since my last blog entry, which was right after the uh, procedure. This is a day later, and um, basically I slept through the night okay, I didn't have any problems. Dr. Cotterill gave me a call personally last night and asked me how I was doing, checked up on me. Just wanted to make sure that everything was okay with the, the sutures and everything else and that there was no bleeding. There wasn't. I had no problems at all. Um, everything worked out great. And I was actually able to sleep the entire night without any problems, really. Um, this morning, I had another appointment with Dr. Cotterill. He uh, has you in the next day just so that he can wash your hair personally so that, you know, you don't damage any of the work that he's done. So he gently massaged out the hair and uh, gave me a shampooing. And he... Uh, gently massage the back area too where the sutures are and he's given me instructions now on how to clean my own hair for the next week or so um, and just basically how to care for it. He's also given me little packets of uh, surgical lubricant which I can put on the um, sutures at the back and that should help them sort of stay moist and so that they can heal a little quicker. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting my stitches out in seven days. Um, I feel a little bit of tightness at the back of my head, just where, it, you know, just a little tight where it's been sutured, but um, I don't feel any discomfort in the front at all, um, and I'm not on any pain medication right now. So if I, if this does start to hurt, I still have a couple of tablets left that I can take. Um, but so far, so good. I haven't had any problems at all, and uh, I look forward to giving you more information later. Bye.